Yo, what's up guys? It's the Elephant, and in this video, I'm going to be going through my entire 164th packaged model scale car collection, model car collection, and because I asked in my Discord server, like, quite a bit ago, um, if they wanted to see a video with this, and where I could, like, show off my full collection of what I have so far, and they said yes, and, I mean, everyone kind of wanted to see it in there. Join the Discord server, link in the description, too. It's top drives and just car stuff in general, which is pretty cool. And so yeah, I filled up the entire container, which is a pretty large container. This video is probably going to be pretty long, but I'll see how fast I can get through it. And I'm going to be showing off everything that I have collected so far. And so yeah, let's just start right... Oh, and I've already smacked the camera, but let's start already with this. This is probably not something exciting, but it was a Matchbox 5 set, and it's, I just got it because it had a Lotus of Aura in it. And so that was really the only reason I bought it was just because it had the Lotus of Aura in it, and it had a cool... It just had an interesting set of five cars, but that one was more just, oh, there's a Lotus of Aura in there. I'm probably not going to find a Lotus of Aura, so I'll buy it. This one, the 2016 BMW M2 of the Hot Wheels, like, police set, I got um, at an arcade for winning tickets, which was pretty interesting. I was not expecting to end up winning a Hot Wheels car from an arcade, but I did. Then there's two other cars that I won at that same arcade. There's one right here, too which is the um, 1985 Chevrolet Camaro from the same set. And there's another regular Hot Wheels car somewhere in there. But I'm going to show you guys the interesting stuff first because I've got a lot more interesting and intricate models. And then we'll get to the cheaper Hot Wheels models, which is why I like the 164th scale. They don't cost like $100 per model, which is then why I like to collect them. I do have some larger scale models, one of which is like $120. But I might do a video on some of my other models too later because I've got quite a lot that I've collected over the years. And so then this is an interesting one. It is a Tomica Lexus IS FCCSR, which is one of like my first special models that I bought. No, of more expensive models that I bought, which then also led to be buying a lot more expensive models after that. But this one's actually a pretty nice one, pretty detailed. It also comes with that little container with it as well. And then we'll just start showing off the rest. Um, now this one was a random one. They somehow had it at my target. It was a movie car, it was John Wick which I like the movie a lot, so I bought it. Um, 1968 Charger RT. I don't even remember this Charger being the movie. He had a Mustang, so I don't really know how it's the John Wick Charger RT, but I guess there is a Charger somewhere in the movie. Maybe, except it would say John Wick 2 or John Wick 3 if it was the second or third version. I don't, I don't really know. I know he had his Mustang, and then I know he had a Charger LD, which is a newer Charger, but I don't really remember a Charger RT in it. Then I've got the Majorette, um... Um, I've got three of these WRC cars. This one is the Hyundai. Yep, it is the Hyundai i20 Coupe. And I'll just continue to build the pile up over there. Then we've got the uh, Volkswagen Polo R WRC car, which they all come with this little... I think that's more of like a little cardboard case that they come with. It's not metal like the... Or actually, I'm not sure what the... No, the Tomica case is also me, uh, cardboard as well. But I do have two down here that are metal cases. So this stack is probably going to get very big, so I'll move them actually down there a bit more. And the backdrop is slowly going to get blocked off. Then we also have a Ford Fiesta. Yep, Ford Fiesta WRC car. And that's the three for my WRC cars. Oh, and I've knocked over the camera. Okay, there we go. We should we should be fine. Um, Then we have this one right here, which is another rally car. But this is the Majorette set that has a metal case with it, the Toyota Celica GT Coupe. This was the only one there at the Target. It was kind of just random. And so I got it because I probably wasn't ever going to see it there again. Um, then we've got three NASCARs. Because NAS with NASCARs, I have a lot of NASCAR models already. Lower, um, 164th scale, I mean. But they're all out of the packaging. So I decided to get these three that were in the packaging still. And I only pick for drivers that I like. I mean, I'm not too much of an Austin Cindric fan. But I did get an Austin Cindric 164th scale model just to have a model NASCAR. And then I got these two later. Which, this one I just got because it was a NASCAR truck from the NASCAR truck series. So I got that one then, just for that reason. And But I am an Austin Dillon fan, though. Not a major one. I do like Blaney more, I'd say. But I did get an Austin Dillon um, model NASCAR then as well. Then we've still got some more interesting ones, too. Like this one, which is actually a pretty cool one. This is a Dale Earnhardt Jr. car, which is also upside down because it's a pretty old one, I think. I bought it at some random museum it was some random nascar museum and they had a gift shop in it and but it was like one of those gift shops where it just had a bunch of different models i wonder if it says the year on it i don't see the year on it on the back oh it's somehow off screen probably because i hit the camera so it moved it off screen hopefully i haven't been off screen this whole time but yeah i don't see the year on the back though 
But it is actually a pretty cool model, even though it's upside down. I could probably fix it and flip it around. I could actually take it out of the model too without like ruining the packaging and stuff, but that's what it looks like. It's actually pretty detailed and it's metal as well, which is nice. And yeah, that's the full model. The camera doesn't want to focus, but that's okay. There we go, it focused a bit there. But yeah, I'll put it back into the case now, right side up. It's just because the plastic area that it has to sit in is like huge. So like I can, it goes around everywhere. But yeah, that's a cool one. See, it's already upside down now. And then I have these two, which were probably more of my ex more expensive models that I have. These two are probably actually my most expensive models, which is this one, the Johnny Lightning's um, Chevrolet El Camino with the metal case to go along with it. Probably just the metal case that made it a bit more expensive. It was like $3 more. And then I also have a Johnny Lightning one for the Ford Mustang SVO. So yeah, those two are pretty cool as well. Nice, um, more quality models. Then we've got these two, which is a Lincoln Continental um, Auto World car. And we've got a Toyota Supra Auto World car. So yeah, the stack is getting fairly large in the back and I've knocked over the camera again because I've got it hanging off like the edge of my desk because I don't have very much room on my desk for like a recording area and my iPad likes to zoom in a crap ton. So then here we have another Auto World set, or not set, another Auto World model, Ford F-150 Lariat. I keep on saying set like they're Lego sets, but they're not. Um, then I have the Matchbox Collectors Jaguar F-Type Coupe. This one I got just recently. Then we've got some more. We've got a lot more of, we've got not a lot more of the nicer sets, but then we get into the Hot Wheels and I'll probably just like speed through those a bit quicker. But these ones are a bit nicer though. The MG MGB Johnny Lightning Import Heat car from the Import Heat collection. I'll probably make it like stack up like there, like that. That still doesn't really work very well. They don't really stack. Then there is the Ford Pinto, which is a pretty funny one from the Johnny Lightning brand as well. So I'll put that there. Um, a Dodge Dart Swinger, another just old muscle car. A lot of these are old muscle cars. But here's a new muscle car, Chevy Camaro ZL1 um, from 2019. Then we've got the Chevy Silverado old truck. So that's a nice one. We'll just keep on stacking them up. I wonder what's gonna happen when I get to the Hot Wheels. I'll probably just have to set them back down there instead of up here. We've got the Pontiac Grand Am from Johnny Lightning as well. And I'm kind of even running out of arm room. So I'll just start putting them back down here. Actually, that might be a bit of a better idea. There we go. Okay, now I've got arm room again, so now I can show them off a bit better. Pontiac Firebird from Johnny Lightning as well in the nice orange color. I've got a uh, 2003 Ford Mustang as well, which is a pretty nice model. And then this one, which is a Chevy Corvette C8. I think there was a little bit of a scratch mark on it somewhere. Uh, or maybe not, maybe I don't see it now, but there was a little mark on it somewhere. Or maybe that was a different car I was thinking of. So that one actually does seem to be in pretty good condition. Then we've got a, looks like five more. We've got five more cars. One of which I think I've actually got two of. Looks like I do. Yeah, I, I guess I have two. Didn't even realize it, but I guess I have two of this Chevy Silverado. Um, so that's interesting. Then I've got the Plymouth GTX in pink. I've got the Dodge Stealth in green from Auto World. I've got a black Lincoln Continental. And there is the International Scout 2, which is an interesting little car. It looks like an old Bronco. Now it is time for all of the Hot Wheels and Matchbox cars. So I'll try and run through these a bit quicker because there is going to be a lot of them and we're already at 10 minutes. So here we go, let's, here we go, and I've already dropped one. Let's see how we can do. So first car, Porsche 911 Carrera Cabriolet. Then we have a Bentley Bentayga Matchbox car as well. I'm gonna just stop saying what brand it is, you guys can clearly read. 1976 Honda CVCC. We've got a 1970 Ford Capri, and then a, a 2019 Ford Mustang. This one I also got from that arcade I was at. So there we go, that's all of those done. Now let's just put them back down here and we'll move on to the next group of cars. And that's two.
because I didn't grab the full stack up there. Mazda Miata, and we have a Nissan hard body. Okay. And I've knocked one down all the way to the floor. All right, let's grab a big stack. Okay, McLaren F1. We've got a Toyota AE86, a Dodge Charger, 1955 Chevy. That's all it says, just a 55 Chevy. And a 1969 Chevy pickup. Just a 69 Chevy pickup. All right, we'll drop those down there. And then we'll grab another stack. This one's got a, cool, a couple cool ones in it. Black Porsche 935. We've got a 55 Chevy Bel Air Gasser. And I'll tell some stories about some more interesting ones as they come up. But right now, these are all just sort of ones I just bought. Uh, tuned 83 Chevy Silverado. That's a kind of funny one. We have the James Bond Aston Martin Valhalla Concept. And the Nissan Z Proto. That's a pretty cool one as well. So I drop these back on down here. And grab these. It's so hard with this tiny little desk. So I'm just kind of running out of room and then I keep on having to lean back to grab others off the floor. 67 Ford Mustang Coupe. Then we've got Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR. 2017 Ford GT. Honda S2000. Porsche 914 Safari, and a 1989 Mazda RX-7. And I am running out of room again, so now I'll just, oh, my chair fell. Okay, on to now the next set of Hot Wheels. Now this one actually has got a bit of a story behind it. The 1998 Super Impreza 22B STI version. This one I got, um at a random Publix, and I got this and a baguette, and that's all I got. I wasn't even planning on looking for Hot Wheels or buying a baguette, I was just kind of in there, and I found this, and I'm also like, dang, you know, it'd be good, a baguette, and I ate that entire baguette by myself with my Subaru Impreza, and so yeah, that's the story behind it. It wasn't actually that exciting of a story, it's more of just kind of a slightly funny story. Then Liberty Walk, um, Super Silhouette, Nissan Silvia, but I do actually seem to be a lot more lucky at Publix than at Target when looking for Hot Wheels. A uh, black McLaren F1. I've got a 2019 Mercedes A-Class. A 1987 Ford Sierra Cosworth. And a Mazda Repu. I'm not sure how that's how you pronounce it. But I, I probably got it wrong. We'll just have to see. Then... 1970 Chevy Chevelle SS Wagon. That's a pretty cool one with it being a wagon. Toyota Land Cruiser. Um, 2020 Jeep Gladiator. We've got 1985 Honda City Turbo 2. And a 2016 Cadillac ATS VR. None of those really have much story behind them. They're all just kind of there. I do know there's a few more though in here that have a bit of story. At least two that I know of. So let's see. We've got 2020 Ram 1500 Rebel, Ford Focus RS. We've got a blue 2019 Mercedes A-Class. I don't even like the A-Class, but I'm pretty sure I have another A-Class in here as well. 67 Ford Mustang Coupe, Nissan R390 GT1. That's a pretty cool one. And then a 2020 Corvette. So we will drop all these back down here. There we go, and we'll grab another handful. I got a big handful this time. I almost dropped one, too. 63 Studebaker Champ. Not the treasure hunt version, though, sadly. Um, 2019 Chevy Silverado. A Dodge Van. Also not the treasure hunt version. 1994 Bugatti EV110 SS. 56 Ford F100. We've got a 1968 Dodge Dart, and we've got a custom Ford Bronco. There we go. We're moving along a bit quicker now. We're almost to the last row as well. We've got, I'd say, 
I actually don't really know. I don't know how to guess how many I've got left. But we're getting there. We are getting there to the end. I said this was a pretty big container, though, that I filled all the way up. Mercedes-Benz 500E in red. Um, Ford Mustang Mach-E. We've got a 1969 Copa Corvette. A Nissan Leaf Nismo. I've got the version in red. Ford GT40. And this is a cool one, too. Custom Acura Integra GSR. So that's all for them. Drop those onto the floor to clear out room so I can move my arm around. Then we've got 59 Chevy Impala, Subaru WRX STI, Ford GT race car. This was the last car in this area of just cars that I was showing off that I won at an arcade. I got four of them because I actually hit the jackpot twice. So I was able to afford four of them then. Um, AMC Rebel Machine, they were still, though, probably very overpriced Hot Wheels because it took me, like, $40 just to get them. And Range Rover Classic. So that, those cars actually, then, make it my most expensive cars in this collection. Not the Johnny Lightning cars, because each of those Hot Wheels were probably $10 a piece with how much I spent getting, trying to get all those tickets. So those four cars that I told you are about, um being from that are actually probably my most expensive cars in my collection, just because of how much I spent trying to get those tickets. Uh, 76 Greenwood Corvette. We've got another Ford Sierra Cosworth, this one in black. Then another Mazda Repu, this one in orange. A 67 Chevelle SS. We've got another custom Ford Bronco, this one in orange. And then a 1990, 1999 Ford Lightning. Now I'm starting to run out of room on the floor. So, dropping those down and grabbing the next set. All right, we've got a Aston Martin V12 Speedster. We've got a 1998 Honda Prelude. The 1994 Audi RS2 Avant, which is a car I really like in real life as well and I would like to own one someday. That would be pretty cool. Um, the Coupe Clip which was like one of those ones that has a special feature. You can actually just attach it to your keys. And so I bought that one then. I don't even have keys. I've got two Ford Broncos, plus I've got one more Ford Bronco. And so I've got three. And the reason why behind it, why I have three, I actually have four, but I gave one to my dad. And that's because he has a Ford Bronco. And I really enjoy that car. I really like that car. So that's why I bought four then. And I gave one to him. And these other three I'm keeping in the packaging just to keep them to have three Ford Broncos, because why not? It's a cool car in general. Then we've got the Sheb Shelby Cobra 427. We have a Toyota GR Supra. We've got another Nissan Skyline 2000 GTR, this one in gray. And I guess I have a duplicate of the Ford Sierra Cosworth. I didn't realize that either. Okay, we're on to the last row now. We're almost done. Can we get this video done in less than 20 minutes? Probably not. Porsche 993 GT2. Then we've got a Plymouth Barracuda Formula S. Acura NSX. Golden Pagani Huayra. Honda Civic SI. And a 1964 Nova Wagon Gasser. Now for this set, which is a complete set of cars I have, this time it kind of works as a set, a complete set of models, I have all of these. So let's start which with whichever one is number one. That would be this guy right here, the Dodge Hemi Challenger, number one of six. Then we've got the Porsche 9 911. Yeah, it is the Porsche 911. Let me move that out of the way. Porsche 911. Oh, wait, that's four of six. Oh, well, we went out of order. Then we've got the 2018 Camaro SS. That's three of six. We've got the Ford Torino Talladega. That's car two of six. We have the Gazella R, which is six of six. And we've got another fictional car, the Project Speeder, which is five of six. I don't really collect the fictional cars at all, but these two I did get because they were part of the full set, so I might as well get them just to have the complete set of all the cars. 
And we are into the last handful right here. We made it past 20 minutes. Toyota Tacoma in blue, very nice looking. We've got a 70 Chevy Camaro RS. Yep, RS, all right. Then another, the final Mercedes-Benz A-Class. We've got a blue Toyota Land Cruiser. And the last car, my first secret treasure hunt, a 2017 Jeep Wrangler. I found it at a Publix. And because no one raids the Publixes, they raid the targets for all the treasure hunts. But I found this one at a Publix. That's my first one I've gotten. It took pretty much all of these cars just to get it. This was my last car I added to the collection. So yeah, that's a pretty nice one. And that's what we're going to be ending the video on. That is all of the cars. So thank you guys for watching. Maybe you liked this video. Maybe I did a good job recording it. I'm not really too sure. The whole setup's kind of all over the place because I don't really have very much desk room and this is the only area I have really to record it since it's in my room. And yeah, um, let me know if you'd like to see other videos with it because I've got a lot more other model cars too. Um, they're just not in packaging. Like I've got a bunch of ones outside of the package that are in decent quality. I've got um, some larger scale models as well, which I could show off. And then I've got some other models that are in beat up quality but still they, they might be pretty cool to show off because a lot of them are from a lot of them are older cars too and so yeah that's going to be it for this video um thank you guys for watching if you like this type of content or just top drives content or hot wheels content i don't really know um like and subscribe because it's cool it'll make me happy and that's it i'm yellowfin thanks for watching goodbye